There once was a bear. He was really sad because he wanted to eat a pig. And there was a wolf who was really mad because he wanted to eat a gingerbread man. They both paced back and forth. The bear went to his cave, and the wolf went to his forest. The bear called the wolf on the telephone and said, Maybe it's not such a good idea to eat the pig and the gingerbread man. Because it's not nice, and besides, candy would be better because it's more sweeter. Maybe we should say sorry. Meanwhile... The gingerbread man was scared. He was running away from the fox. The gingerbread man ran into two pigs who were building their house. Hey, they said, we don't like it when you bump into us. Sorry, but the fox is chasing me. The two pigs said, well, we can't stay here. You knocked down our house. Let's run to our brother's brick house, the gingerbread man said. Run, run, as fast as you can. Maybe your brother can give us a hand. Meanwhile... <laughs> The bear and the wolf came up to the brick house to say sorry. They checked their map. Yep, I think this is the right house. Ready to say sorry? Yep, let's do this thing. <laughs> Goldilocks answered the door. She said, oh man. The bear and the wolf saw Goldilocks and didn't know what to do with her because she was so pretty. Uh... We are looking for the gingerbread man and the two little pigs. Yeah, uh, we just want to... The bear and the wolf looked at each other, and then they looked at their map. Hmm, maybe it's a different bird house. And they walked off. She was so pretty, they let her go. Goldilocks said, oh no. Goldilocks ran to her mother's shoe store that was also made of bricks. Her mother lived there so she could have as many shoes as she wants. Goldilocks <laughs> told her what happened. The bear and the wolf continued on. As they walked across the bridge, it crumbled and they fell over the waterfall. The wolf and the bear then found another brick house and knocked on the door. They said, little pigs, little pigs, let us come in. Goldilocks and her mother said, we are not little pigs. You are <laughs> at the wrong brick house. Again? They checked their map. How many brick houses can there be? <laughs> they traveled on. They came to a lake that was overflowing. They said, Meanwhile, <laughs> Goldilocks ran to the little pig's brick house and said, Come to my mom's house so you can be safe and get new shoes. On their way, they saw the wolf and the bear, so they ran very fast to the shoe store. One of the pigs couldn't run as fast, so he climbed a tree and waited until it was safe to come down. That pig in the tree saw what happened next. The bear and the wolf found the brick house. They climbed up the chimney, but no one was there. Now what do we do? All of a sudden, they began to twitch. The bear pulled out a fish, and also in his fur was a shark. The wolf pulled salmon out of his fur. And a big whale. This must have happened when we went over the waterfall. Then they worked together and built a fire. They cooked all the fish and had a great dinner. Meanwhile, the pig in the tree noticed a fox walking through the forest. He joined up with the bear and the wolf after dinner. The pig in the tree climbed down and ran to the shoe store to warn the gingerbread family that the fox and the bear and the wolf were coming their way. The gingerbread family noticed they were being followed by a fox, a wolf, and a bear. Look, there's the gingerbread family. Now's our chance to say sorry. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch us. We're the gingerbread clan. The bear almost got the gingerbread boy, but the dad made a quick bow and arrow. He pulled it back to scare the bear, then the bear, wolf, and fox ran away. The gingerbread family heard that Goldilocks' mother's shoe store was a safe place, so they went there. Let us in, let us in, we are the gingerbread family. They believed them, so they let them in. They were excited to see that their other gingerbread brother was safe. Meanwhile, the wolf and the fox broke up. 
They were friends, but the fox heard the wolf tell the bear that he was a scaredy cat. A teacher bear came out of her school and helped them, because that's what teachers do. They had a peace talk. Meanwhile, Mama Pig walked by. She was sad because she didn't have any more babies. Teacher Bear said she could be a teacher at her school, and soon everyone came. Goldilocks, Red Riding Hood, the Three Pigs, and the Gingerbread Children. This was a good time to go out to dinner, said Goldilocks' mom. She waited for her honey, Prince Ronald, to come. While they were gone, Goldilocks and all her friends had a party after school. They called it a shoe party, and they all tied on lots of shoes. Meanwhile, Bear, Fox, and Wolf came and scratched on the door. Sounds like a party. Maybe they'll let us say we're sorry. On the way home from dinner, Goldilocks' mom and Prince Ronald saw the bear scratching their door. Prince Ronald called for the dragon to breathe fire to scare them. They ran away. Not again. Now what do we do? All we want to do is say we're sorry. I know. Let's disguise ourselves as shoe delivery people. <laughs> the wolf knocked on the door. Goldilocks answered because he looked like a delivery man and he had pretty shoes. The wolf said, special delivery. Don't do it. Goldilocks said, My, my, what big eyes you have. Better to see you with, my dear. Don't do it. My, my, what big ears you have. Better to hear you with, my dear. Stop! My, my, what big teeth you have. Better to say, uh, I'm the... The woodchopper man came and put them all in a net before they could even say sorry. Oh, no! Goldilocks' mother came to the door and said, Never open the door again. We never talk to strangers! The woodcutter made a special house for the wolf. It had a wolf face on the door and 125 locks because he wanted him to stay in his own Stop. area. Once he learned to be nice, the woodcutter said he could have a play date with Bear. The wolf's house was next to a lake for the fox and cave for the bear. He told the fox, no more gingerbread rides. He told the bear, no more chasing people. And he told the wolf, no more tricking people. When they tried to explain that they only wanted to say sorry, the woodcutter said, Not now. I'm not ready to hear you. And left. The bear, the wolf, and the fox wanted a play date, so they decided a good way to get everyone together as a family would be to give out candy. But they couldn't get out because of the 125 blocks. So they decided they would call Sue, the principal boss. They don't just call her when nothing happens. It's only when somebody's mom needs to be called. Sue doesn't like to have bullies at school, so she's really good at helping children with conversation. The wolf calls Sue and said, We want to give out candy so we can say we're sorry. Sue said, That's a good idea. Let me call your parents. When the parents got there, everyone felt safe and happy. So, everyone sat together with Sue and had a talk. The fox and the wolf and the bear were able to say sorry for the misunderstanding, and the others said, okay. After they said sorry, the bear, the fox, and the wolf got everyone's address and mailed them all chocolate to make them even more happy. Then, the woodchopper came and said, okay, everyone can have a play date now at Disneyland, but first, here are the rules. Fox, wolf, and bear. Make sure you don't try to eat anyone. Goldilocks. Make sure you never open the door to strangers. Three pigs. Make sure you build a strong house so it won't get knocked down. Gingerbread family. Stop teasing everyone to chase you so far. And to all of you here tonight, stay forever young. And always believe in fairy tales, Yay. because wishes do come true. <laughs> <laughs>